What's going on people, it's Amanda YB, and back once again. So, I didn't know this, you know. Fabio Wardley, my doggy Fabio Wardley, has teamed up with Ben Davidson. Mr. Is it Mr. Miyagi? Mr. Miyagi. Dr. Dr. Miyagi. Dr. Miyagi. Ben, Dr. Miyagi Davidson. So let's play some of the clip here. I ain't going to get the video. Obviously, Sky Pagans be hating. They stay on their hit raid. You best believe it. Here we go. Let's play some audio. Quick time. It's always just business. I'll allow it. For the next eight, nine weeks, you're my enemy. And the objective is to destroy you, is to knock you out, is to win and keep progressing with my career. So, look, he's on my mind a certain amount because I have to plan correctly and analyse and look at him. But I'm not. I'm not going to bed dreaming about Fraser Clark. Do that faint again. Even less, even less, shorter. And then jab after that. Bop, bop, wop, bop, yeah. Turn that last jab into a free two. So, the specifics of the relationship are irrelevant. You can watch it yourself behind the ropes. Um, it's intriguing, though, because as far as I was aware, you can see Ben Davison posted up in the corner. Where is he? Where is Mr. Head and Shoulders? Here we go. Here's Mr. Head and Shoulders wig. To be fair, he looks like he's greased it up a bit, though. Before, it was like all fluffy. He had a soft, like, nice-looking wig. Well, for a female, I'd say it's nice. But either way, he had a nice, soft wig, and now it's more gritty, grimy, gully. Do you understand that slick back? More time he, he, like he spat on a comb and just licked it back and then greasy ones. <laughs> so yeah, man, I'm liking the swag from Bay. He mix it up and it's kind of, it's adapted with his training style. Yeah, when he had that soft looking, pretty looking wig, he was training Tyson Fury and people was performing like, like fannies in there. Ben was about to throw the towel in. And get Tyson Fury's first loss in that first fight. It was Freddie Roach. Well documented. Freddie Roach told him. Whoa, what are you doing? He's a fighter. Let him fight. So. Yeah. This new. Ben has certainly evolved people. Which isn't a surprise. When he was with Tyson. He was a PE teacher I think. Or he wasn't. But he's one of them. He may as well have been. Right. He may as well have been a PE teacher. He's certainly evolved now. There's no one. I don't care what no one says. Evidentially based. What he's done with AJ, even Lee Wood. Lee Wood got smoked, came back and had his best performance of his career against Mauricio Lara. I gave Ben a lot of credit for that at the time, but it was kind of like, well, mm, Lee Wood. Mm. But the AJ transformation is literally, that could be scientifically studied because AJ went for everyone. Rob, Angel, all the top guys, Robert Garcia, um, uh, the cat from Texas. Derek James, all the top dogs who were buzzing at the time. AJ went there and really nothing changed. He refined the scary style. He was still boxing scary. He goes to Ben Davison for six months and whether Ngannou and Wallin are bums, yeah, it's not about that. AJ's been for bums. He was scared to death of Pulev, scared to death of Muffin Top, Franklin, scared to death of even Hellenius. So he, there's no way... Wallin's worse than Hellenius. There's no way Ngannou's worse than Hellenius. So, on that basis, we have perfect almost comparison. AJ was with all them top trainers and he he was scared to let his hands go. He was scared to be confident. He was scared to back himself. He gets to Ben Davison and goes in there with a higher level or equal level of competition to the Helleniuses and the Franklins. And he's looking just phenomenal. That is day and night. AJ gives Ben Davison a lot of credit and I do as well. I think genuinely evidence-based. Yeah, listen, I'm the first person to say we haven't seen AJ tested yet, but even so, it's a phenomenal transformation. This deep into AJ's career. He was looking lost. Fact. And he's looking back on now. And you have to respect that. The only person who's changed that. It's not all the psychologists from this university and that university. It's Ben Davison. And I salute that. That's some, that's some real solid stuff he's done there so far. Um... My point, Ben is Mr. Maggie right now, fact, bottom line. And often, I, it's dangerous to start crowning these new trainers, all these trainers. It seems to be every year there's someone hot. Last year it was Derek James, and then they all fall off. So I don't want to do that to Ben. But what Ben's 
building here is sustainable. Well, it feels somewhat sustainable. Time will tell. Um, the fact of the matter is, right now, Ben's popping. And Fabio Wardley, who used to be with Dillian White, Fabio Wardley used to be with Dillian White all the time. Now, he's clearly detached. So Fabio's, I guess the thing is, when Fabio was coming up, he was broken on the way up. So hanging around Dillian probably worked out for him. Now he's got enough resources, he can make his own little camp. And he's chosen to go with Ben Davison. And that, I don't know who, I mean, there's a cat here. This is the guy, historically, I remember this cat here. This, the Bulbas Donny. This Donny here, from Ipswich, or wherever he's from. This cat here is the one I traditionally remember Fabio Wardley being with. And I respect this man. Because it'd be easy to say, oh, I know it all. A lot of trainers have massive egos and they get bent out of shape. Oh, I know it all. I don't want no one in the camp. But And I, I can respect it to some extent, but when, when someone's showing what Ben Davison's shown, this isn't just another trainer, if that makes sense. It's not just another meathead. Even if you look at what Ben Davison did with the strategic element of the Ngannou fight, Listen, people, AJ's had many trainers before. Them glaring holes, yeah, was it obvious? Maybe. But the bottom, bottom line is, we talked the other day about Sugar Hill in Fury versus Wilder 3. In the clutch moment, that's when things matter. And at the end of the day, people, in the clutch, when it mattered, Ben Davison's strategy got AJ really his first round one or round two KO at the top level. Spark out KO. That is valuable. You can't, you can't buy that kind of um, training IQ. So I respect this guy here for for bringing Ben Davison in. I've never really read. Well, people like Derek James and um, Derek James. Who else is there? Robert Garcia. They just remind me of generic trainers. They're good at what they do. If you want to be Mexican style, you go to Robert Garcia. Has Robert Garcia showed he can break someone down and pick pockets in their game? Not really. Derek James neither. Errol Spence does what he does. He did it to a great level, but ultimately Terence Crawford showed he just come running forward. That's Errol Spence's plan. And Errol Spence in most of the fights is bigger and stronger, so running forward works. But that's a one-dimensional trainer. Ben Davison, he seems to be able to... to to gauge the game, not, not I'm not saying he's an alien, but to a better extent than anyone else who's doing it right now, to break it down and build something around that, not to mention the psychological elements. And someone like Fabio Wardley, who's young, he has the ferocity, the athleticism to be combined, similar to AJ. Really, Fabio hasn't, well, Fabio hasn't lost his head. If that makes sense, which really gives Ben Davison even more credit because. To put AJ's head back on his shoulders and then give him these strategic things he can execute on is phenomenal. Most trainers can't even put your head back on your shoulders. But someone like Fabio, who's got all them raw materials, athleticism, same as AJ. Athletic dudes. Explosive dudes. And then put in there the IQ behind it. And Fabio's not a, he's not a brawler. He's got good IQ. But that Ben Davison, I can't see how it gets worse. And hopefully my, you know what I say is always wrong, but hopefully that, that holds true. I'd like to see Fabio a little bit more refined. Don't get rid of the ferociousness, but like we saw with AJ and Ngannou, refine ferociousness. So this is a great play. Um, and you know, we know Fraser Clark's got Angel Fernandez. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I, I just... <laughs> Fabio, I mean... Fernando Alonso is AJ's former trainer. Yeah? Fernando Alonso... What's his name? No, no. What's his name? Angel, Angel Fernandez. Fabio... Yeah, Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso... He was great F1 driver, but I ain't sure how good he is at boxing. That's the truth. Fernando Alonso jumped in there after Rob McCrappen. And AJ just... Yeah, it wasn't the big transformation. So, team for team. I mean, I'm backing Fabio anyway, but this is just... This is tight. Fernando, uh, listen, listen. If Fraser Clark can win, man, fair play to him. I really don't care who wins fights, to be honest. If he can, Fraser Clark can win, man, salute to him. Because he's done it against the odds. Fact. The bookies have it 
as Fabio is a heavy favourite, and I agree with that. I, I, I don't see Fraser Clark can't punch. Bottom line, and to be quite frank, there's no amount of training that can make you punch. Fraser Clark hasn't shown. To be, he said, "Oh, Fraser Clark said, oh, I don't. I, I haven't had to show that I'm aggressive yet. Maybe. Normally, it's inherent to you, though, especially when you haven't lost. If you're not, like, if you've been, we've all seen fighters, yeah, who get popped in the mouth and then they're like, oh, I don't want to squabble no more. But Fraser ain't lost yet. He ain't been knocked down or knocked out yet, and he's still running out of gas after four rounds. He's still not want to let his hands go. Now you want me to believe." Which it could be, it could be the bad blood is going to make him want to get stuck in more. But now it's a, it's a leap to believe he's all of a sudden going to come to fight and come to land heavy shots. And does he even have the capacity to land heavy shots? Fraser Clark's more of a more of a bear. They're clubbing slow shots. They're not stinging. Fabio Wardley, he sting your ass. That's a fact. Pause. This is what it is. He's stinging. Athletic. Like I say, it'll be phenomenal for Fraser Clark to win this fight. There's no amount of boxing. And Fraser Clark ain't that slick. He's not a Usyk slick. He's big and somewhat slow, but he can't punch. That's problematic. He can't punch. He's not aggressive. And he's not a Mayweather or a Fury or a Usyk who can, who's that slick. So it's kind of like... He reminds you really of an amateur boxer. An Olympic level amateur boxer. Tippy tappy, that kind of shtick. A big tippy tappy. Uh, I think Fabio Wardley said it best. Fabio Wardley said he liked a bear, and he does look like a bear. He get lighter. Fraser Clark looked like a bear, but what the bear did he say it was? What's the nice sweet bear? Pooh bear? Is it poo? Not sure. It's poo. Gummy the bear. I don't know. Gummy the bear. You get the point. Gummy the bear. Gummy the bear is what I think. When I think of Fraser Clark, I think of gummy the bear. Never mind. Listen, people. Forget about the twerking. I ain't trying to go into I've done videos in the last week about the twerking. Forget about Fraser Clark making his booty pop better than most females. That's not what I'm trying to get here. That to one side, he still remind me of a gummy bear. Yeah, no doubt if I was a female, I'd, would I like... Listen, people. In the middle of October, sorry, in the middle of November, would I like... Who would I prefer to snuggle up to at night? Fraser Clark or Fabio Wardley? It'd be Fraser Clark every time. I'm not a hater, right? He, he looked like a cuddly dude. Do you understand? But this is boxing, yeah? We ain't talking about... if Listen, if the game was cuddle up around a warm fire on a cold night, yeah? In a game of let's cuddle up around a warm fire on a cold night, I'll be picking Fraser Clark every time. Yeah? Not even close. Sorry, Fabio, you're just too wiry. It's like Wilder. Who gonna want to snuggle up to Wilder on a cold, icy night? No. No one picking Wilder, no one picking Fabio, they picking Fraser. It's just what it is. Soft and, you don't, one of them ones where you just kind of nestle your head in. That's what, <laughs> look at Fraser, pause, right? I ain't on the grind thing, but that's what, when I see Fraser, I think, ooh, yeah? If I was on the down low, if the YB was on the down low, I'd probably want to snuggle, dude. Do you understand? That's just the truth. But you don't, listen, I don't know nothing, yeah? More time, Fraser probably gonna knock him out, right? That's the based on my betting history. F no, I'm not betting. That's, that's the thing, though. What often happens with me yeah, if I don't bet on something, if I don't bet on something, then the outcome I expected happens, and that's how I get lured in. Like for example, I'm hundred percent sure Fabio Wardley gonna smoke Fraser. I won't bet on it yet, but it will happen. Fabio Wardley will go in there smoke him. A few of them happen, and I think, oh, I do know the game. And the minute I put my coin down, something out of left field just happens. Yeah? A few fights go well in my head, and that's what gets me, that's what reels me back in every time. Every time. Every time I have two or three winners that I didn't bet on, I think, why am I leaving money on the table for? And the next thing you know, Liam Smith's sparking out Eubank all over the floor. That's how it goes. 100%. Yeah? Anyway. Yeah. This, for me, just now knowing that Ben Davison's with Fabio Wardley, it just weighs it more in Wardley's favour. Bottom line. But it's an intriguing fight. That's what we know. An in extremely intriguing fight. And I respect... Well, Fabio's always been on it. He's been on it. Fraser Clark did do some politicking, but end of the day, people, he, in he getting in the ring. So, when it's all said and done, if he wins this fight, it don't matter, does it? 
it don't matter that he ducked a year ago because he won the fight. And even if he loses, if he fights well, he makes it to Valhalla. And that's what it's all about, people. Fight hard. Fraser Clark, he's talking a lot right now. I want to. I can fight if I need to. As long as he shows that, that's all you can ask for. I want to see Fraser Clark. I know Fabio's got it. Can Fraser break Fabio? If he does that, wicked for him. I don't see it. But I haven't seen Fraser. I've seen Fraser on his gummy bear. In there with old dude Marius Wack that's just looking messy and soft. I ain't seen him really get at it. And I'm not sure he's... He, I don't think he's got that. I don't think he's got it. But I'm happy to be proved wrong. So let's see how it plays out. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. And let up the bell 100% no doubt.